Good morning, South Florida. Hurricane Irma, still a dangerous Category 5 hurricane moving away from Barbuda, and it is moving towards St. Martin. And for those of you who are just waking up and joining us, here is the latest 5 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. And it is still a Cat 5 with max sustained winds of 185 miles per hour, a moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour, and forecast to continue moving generally in that that direction as we head throughout the next few days. It'll likely be passing across or near the British and U.S. Virgin Islands and just north of Puerto Rico, still cap five as we head into Thursday early in the morning and could be just brushing the coast here of Dominican Republic as we head into early Friday morning, could be moving across Turks and Caicos, possibly the Bahamas or near or just north of Cuba into early Saturday morning. And there has been a change in the cone due to some of the models trending a little bit more east this morning. And so now as we take a look at the weekend time frame into uh, late Saturday night into Sunday morning and Sunday through the day, we could see a category four Irma making landfall here somewhere along Southern Dade County or inland Broward County. And you can see that cone widens up indicating that there is some uncertainty here as we head into the weekend. But it looks like into late Sunday into Monday morning, a cat three possibly moving northward up the state of Florida. So as we look at the computer models, you'll understand why the cone has shifted a little bit to the east and also is widening up. We're seeing many models now steering Irma possibly uh, just to our east and offshore over the Bahamas as we head into the weekend. Still some models moving Irma directly across our state and northward. And then there are just a few models moving it here over along the west coast of Florida. And that's due to a mid to upper level trough that is forecast to develop here along the uh, southeast coast. So as we take a look at the GFS and the Euro models, many these are in agreement that Irma will likely take that turn to the north. But the question is when and also will we see it stay a little bit more offshore or will Irma directly move across our state and head northward towards uh, parts of Georgia or the Carolinas? We'll have to wait and see. But of course, we've been reminding you for the past few days now is the time to prepare as the threat is really increasing for us. So we have a strong Atlantic high and we're waiting to see what happens with that dip in the jet stream. Hurricane warnings are in place for the northern Leeward Islands and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, as well as on the northern side of Dominican Republic's Turks and Caicos, Southeast Bahamas, now under a hurricane warning. And we're seeing a hurricane watch in place for the central Bahamas and Cuba. And in terms of the tropical storm force wind probabilities increasing for us here in South Florida as we head into Saturday and into Sunday. Now, we're also watching the possibility of the tropical storm force wind arriving as early as late Friday and into Saturday. So in terms of the timeline, we're going to see hot sun and thunderstorms at the next few days. Friday will be our final good weather day for any last minute preparations, although you already should have your plan and supplies in place. And then Saturday, our weather conditions deteriorating with winds and squally weather.